So what's going on, movie lovers? Guess what time it is? Weekly movie hunt. Yeah, we're going on the weekly movie hunt. You saw my Black Friday pickup, so I'm not going to go over those again. If you didn't, go watch those videos. It's at least two Best Buy ones there. But yeah, there's some cool stuff that came out this week. A couple of things I bought online. So we'll look online as well. And then come back here at the end. And we'll uh, actually, I'll show you the haul. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Let's go. So what's up everybody we're gonna really start the hunt we're gonna go in target uh they got their balls decorated today so let's get into the store and see if we see anything hey they actually have some something new in here anyway you got the nun on blu-ray for 24.99 that's a grand turismo which is already out and they got the equalizer you got the three movie collection on blu-ray Got the DVD, you got the regular Blu-ray of, of Equalizer 3 for $24.99, and you got Equalizer 3 on 4K for $32.99. That's a little high. Desperation Road. What's with these cases, man? That's a Blu-ray, but it's in a DVD size case. You're you're messing up my feng shui, man, on my shelf if I buy something like that. What is this? Spirit Away? Oh god, it's a live action on stage. Only a target. Say what? Yeah, no thank you. Sound of Freedom. 1999 on DVD. I think there's a Blu-ray of that. They didn't get it? That's weird. There's the old stuff. Barbie. We got a Teenage Kraken on sale. They got some of the uh, Christmas globe covers. The DVDs on sale. I guess $8.99. They're trying to make it look well why would i buy the dvd or in the blu-ray for the same price that's brutal. so i guess that's why they're on sale for a buck off santa claus 10 bucks it's a wonderful life you can get that on sale with that christmas ornament inside over here hey before i leave i was walking by the toys here's a couple things my interest in movie lovers they got this toonie terrors elvira that's kind of cool i am cornholio i need some tp for my bunk hole so they got Beavis and Butthead plush. Our next stop on the wonderful hunt is going to be in the Walmart. Yeah, fa la 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 la. Hey, the dual tie Carol. Fa la 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 la. Take it, Russ. Fa la 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 la. So they got the equalizer uh, up here on the little marquee thing. 1996 for the DVD, 2296 for the Blu ray. And hey, they got a Walmart exclusive steel book. So they're going to be the ones that takes the steel book mantle from uh, Best Buy when they stop selling movies. Uh, Equalizer 3, um, that's a pretty nice slip cover on that. The Nun, 2296 for the Blu ray, 1796 for the DVD. And then they got this Justified City Primeval. There's the Equalizer 3 movie set in here. Freedom. Oh, see, so yeah, there was a Blu-ray of that. So there's Sound of Freedom on Blu-ray for 19.96, and look, the DVD is the exact same price. That's kind of weird. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. So over here on the side, they do have a couple new things, some Christmas stuff. Christmas in the Country double feature. No, thank you. I heard the bells. Blue, what's Blue Lock? I don't know what that is. This head count's got a really cool retro feel cover to it. Does anybody know what that movie is? Never heard of it. Twelve ninety six. Somebody told me this was good. I'm not going to pick it up yet, but uh, it's got the girl that was from Stranger Things in it. I don't know. I got enough B-movie horror I haven't watched yet instead of picking that up. But if anybody has seen that, let me know in the comments down below. We got our uh, bro... John Cena and Fastlane teamed up with L.A. Knight there. Let me talk to you. Yeah, Muzzle, Aaron Eckhart. Man, he has, like, come up, uh, dropped down a lot. He's now in, uh, basically become the, what Nick Cage used to be is in every, like, other Walmart movie. 
yeah there's that desperation road i like the cover other than the fact that it's in a dvd size case still don't know what's up with that what's up with that what's up with that and i think that's about all from this section here and look on the way out look they got these cool christmas books here it's like the old golden book what in the hell there's a taylor swift golden book i don't think i need that and it's five bucks they got mario brothers but yeah look at that oh goodness so the next stop is going to be in Best Buy. Look, it's like the old um, Batman villain angle there. Hey, Jabs, what sorcery is this? Yeah, they're the new villain because they're going to stop selling movies. But up here in the front, Sound of Freedom is a little higher in here, twenty one ninety six. So I'd get that at Walmart if I was going to get it. I haven't heard anybody say whether that's any good or not. So here's your Twilight box set here of all your steel books of each movie. Yeah, somebody was talking about that on a live stream. It's 79 bucks. No, thank you. I don't need Twilight at all. Not a fan of any of those movies. Still got, uh, look, Barbie's on sale for 10 bucks. I guess that's part of their Black Friday sale. So, yeah, we'll be putting that back. If you're a member, you can get the 4K cheaper. No, thank you. Let's go around here on the side. They do have steel books on this end cap. They got Shazam, Black Hawk Down. I still need to get Rebel Without a Cause, Violent Night. So here's where the equalizer is in here. If you're going to get the Blu-ray or the 4K just standalone, it's best to get it at Walmart. They're the cheapest. There's the Best Buy exclusive steel book of it, so that's kind of cool. I think I like the artwork on the Walmart steel book one better. What do you guys think? They got Prey. Yeah, to get it cheaper, you got to be a member. And then they still got the Meg steel book in here. Regular price now. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a 4K little standee here. It looks like it's got some of the uh, Black Friday stuff on it. The stuff that's on sale. But it's basically alphabetical order, I think, of the stuff. So there's Creed for 10. There's Dungeons and Dragons for 10. Enter the Dragon. Uh, Exorcist. Yeah, Evil Dead Rise. Flash is on um, 4K. It's 15 bucks. Guardians of the Galaxy. Look, Jaws 2 is 10 bucks. So yeah, this is a lot of the stuff we saw in our when we were looking online for the Black Friday stuff. So they basically put it all in this little 4K end cap thing. Super Mario Brothers, 10 bucks. Batman, 10. It looks like a lot of the stuff is the Warner Brothers titles. There's Top Gun, a lot of the Warner Brothers stuff is 10 bucks. Because you get over here to the Christmas ones, and they got Christmas stories, 10. Yeah, there's Barbie for $9.99. Elf is $9.99. So, yeah, a lot of the um, Warner Brothers Christmas titles are 10 bucks. Polar Express, I still need to get that in 4K. And we got a wall of televisions. Are they going to put appliances or TVs when where all the movies were when they pull them out of here? So this is a lot of the stuff that's on, on sale, but not $10. It's like the stuff that's like 11 and 12 Interstellar is 8 bucks. That's a good deal. Mm, not seeing anything down here. It's on the end over here. Got the Austin Power set. This is some multi-movie sets, but it's on Blu-ray only, so... Other than Superman and Star Trek down there. That's a really good deal. No hard feelings. Already on sale for eleven ninety nine. I know what you did last summer. Yeah, we saw that when we were looking online. I couldn't believe that was that cheap already. There's the, the first two equalizers. Looper and Dracula. Or 12 bucks. That's a good deal. I was looking to see if they got any with a slip cover, and that'd be no. I think that had a slip cover. I can't remember. 
You remember? I don't remember. Ghostbusters. Doctor Strange Love is 12. Did that ever come with a slipcover? I don't remember. I might have to think about picking that up. But if it's part of the Black Friday sale, you'll see that in the video I've already posted. So this is just going to be new release stuff that I show at the end of this one. So they got some new stuff out on the shelf. Everybody's got that Desperation Road. I don't know anything about that movie. Let me know if you've seen it. They got Rudy. 30th anniversary already. That movie, I got the 4K in Duel. I check, uh, check out my unboxing of the big collector set, the Steelbook set I got of that. Um, this Sympathy for the Devil is a 4K steelbook. I didn't even know this was going to come out in 4K. Or I would have waited. That's a good movie. I like Nick Cage. Not the beast! Ah! Yeah, even The Wicker Man. I kind of like that too. That Kandahar. I keep saying I'm going to pick it up, and then I don't. Uh, Blue Steel. I came out. That's the next Vestron video series. That's that blue lock. I don't know what that is. Yep. Don't sleep on this Swamp Thing 4K, man. $23.99. I keep showing it. I did a pretty good video unboxing of that and talking about uh, Adrian Barbeau and that. So Joyride is 10 bucks. And Master Gardener is only $10.99. There's Ghoulies 4K, $23.99. Asteroid City, $10. That's part of that Black Friday sale. And here's a bunch of the other ones. Two Guns was 10 bucks. American Graffiti, there's the regular cover. They had sold out of that last week. Casablanca, Cool Hand Luke, $10. Black Adam and Dune. Elvis, Edge of Tomorrow. Those are all $10. Got Reservoir Dogs down there. Dragon Slayer. Let's go over here on this side. They got a few things. 2001 is ten dollars. Clockwork Orange, man. I remember seeing that when I was younger. That's only five ninety nine. Movies that cheap. I don't even have to worry about whether they got a a slip cover or not. Where you put? Did you see the movie hunt where I got Caddyshack for ninety nine cent? Escape from New York's really good. That's a good transfer. I recommend that. I'm just quickly going through this just to see what they got. It's funny, the Blu-rays, a lot of them are, are more expensive than the 4Ks because they got so many of the 4Ks for $10. Hitman's Bodyguard. Inception for 10 bucks. I think we bought that. I've already bought that recently. Mean Girls. Is that going to get a 4K release? I didn't need that uh, reboot of it, though. Requel, whatever you want to call it. Or is it a downright sequel? I don't know. Nope, we'll be skipping that. No, 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 no. Patriot Games, $7.99. That's a good deal. Paint for $10.99. Renfield, Saving Private Ryan. This store, we got quite a bit of stuff. Shawshank is definitely worth 10 bucks. I recommend that for sure. Terrifier 2. So let's get out of here and let's uh, check online before we go show you what we picked up. Just see if we miss anything. There's Duel, Rudy, Equalizer, the three movie collection. That 4K set has got supposedly some IMAX enhancement to it um that f sound of freedom the nun we didn't see the nun 4k anywhere and that was pretty expensive when i checked online i'm not getting that right now um, the expanse the blind i think we did see that in walmart there's the nun blu-ray and blind did have a blu-ray that we didn't see that spirit away live justified we saw there's leave it to beaver the series on blu-ray we saw Blue Steel and Justified. For All Mankind, I'm not sure what that is. I've checked that out. Two Days in the Valley, very underrated movie. A lot of people don't talk about that. Short Circuit 2, 
didn't see that gardening test we didn't see some catalog stuff I don't know um I think I got garden tests on DVD bone tomahawk recommend that for sure Super Mario Brothers 3 mm. there's that sympathy for the devil 4k we didn't see terms of endearment 4k uh, I know I'm gonna be shot saying this. I just don't. I'm not a huge fan of that movie. So, Psycho Gorman. For uh, that's a steel Blu-ray steel book. Neon City. I remember seeing that back in the day. Mm, not interested in any of that. Oh, com computer chess. What the hell? Arizona. I remember getting that Blu-ray in the Dollar Tree. What else we got? I Kill Giants and Clean. I think those steel books are the ones people are finding in Walmart. There's that all fun and games I was asking you guys about. Put some comments down below if you've seen that. Let me know if it's any good. Winter Tide. That cover looks neat. I don't know anything about it. Hard Gore. Oh God, Krampus Origins. Do we really need that? Fetus. There's some weird ass shit down here. Flash Contagium or whatever that was. Minutes to Midnight. The covers of these look good, but that crossbreed, man, I remember getting that DVD at the Dollar Tree. What the hell is they releasing that for? Oh, man, look, Elves. That might be right up my alley there. I might have to look that up, see what that is. I don't need any of that. So that's about it. So let's get home and I'm going to show you what I picked up this week. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. And we went weekly movie hunting. Um, quite a bit came out. A lot of catalog stuff came out this week. I did pick up a few things, picked up a couple new releases as well. Um, I got to curb my spending. I want to do some criterion hunting, so I'm going to do that. There's a couple titles I want. Um, man, yeah, I should go to a therapy and be like, yeah, my name is Jeffman316, and uh, I've got a physical media addiction. Um, but oh well, it could be worse. Uh, so the first movie I'm going to show you is a video that I actually did an unboxing on. It is Steven Spielberg's Duel. I got the Steelbook version. I'm not going to go into the details of everything in here watch that video i even did a little mini review of the movie at the end i love this movie one of spielberg's earliest is a tv movie that he directed if you're not familiar with it so the next movie that i picked up i've already watched is equalizer 3 with denzel washington i love the equalizer movies i think i might like this one a little more than the second one here's the steel book i'm not going to unbox that but i'll go ahead and show it to you on the channel uh here instead of doing a separate video um, I've already got to use the digital code. There's not much to the internal, which I always, you know, if you take advantage of the inside of the cases and give us something cool there, it's got more than a J card, as they call it. This thing got a full wrap. So I'm not fond of those. They're usually really thin paper as well. Um, but either way, really good movie. Um, I love, I even like the ending the way it ended. Um, so the next movie I picked up, sound of freedom uh this is a blu-ray dvd digital and from, if i'm not mistaken the blu-ray dvd digital costs the same exact damn thing as the dvd so either way um, i haven't seen this movie i did open it to redeem the digital code um and i've got a video that i'm going to edit about opening movies do you open them when you first get them or do you wait until you watch them so we'll talk about that more on the channel so something that i have not seen at all and i'm really looking forward to watching this is justified uh, city primeval season one um that we aired on fx i was a super fan man of justified i love this one uh, timothy oliphant or have you pronounce his name um i really love him in that series so i'm i haven't watched any of this so i'm uh, gonna check that out for the first time got some days off around thanksgiving and a binge watch and stuff um, a movie that I remember watching back in my VHS days, a Blue Steel with Jamie Lee Curtis. 
I was a kind of a big fan of this movie back then. I think I just liked everything she was in, probably because I love Halloween so much. Um, but either way, it also stars Ron Silver. He was a big eight movie a guy of the 80s and 90s. He's in the new Expendables movie, which he didn't work um, as the bad guy. Here's the carpet match and the drapes. Uh, from what I'm, it doesn't have a uh, flip in, you know, a flip. Uh, what am I thinking of? Doesn't have a reversible cover art or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it did, does. It's part of the Vestron Video Collector Series. I guess I'm a completist because I've got all those. This is number 31, so I've got all the other 30, so i got to keep it going, right? Are you a completist? There's another video we could talk about and do. But, um, yeah, it's got a digital code as well. A movie that um, I actually have already picked it up on Blu-ray. I didn't even know the 4K was coming out. I should have waited because I liked the movie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably give uh, my Blu-ray copy uh, to someone. I'm not going to say who because it'll spoil it if they watch this video. But I got the 4K Steelbook of Sympathy for the Devil. Really affordable price. This is a really good Nicolas Cage movie. He's really come back into his own. I've pretty much liked everything that he's done um, here in the last couple years. So really want to re uh, looking forward to rewatching that in 4K. Uh, speaking of 4K, you're going to hate me when I say this, but I didn't particularly like this movie when it first came out. Haven't watched it in years. I do only own it on DVD um, and didn't really care for it because I don't think I really 100% like the actor. But it's Rudy. And this is the 30th anniversary. I never was a Sean Astin fan. Um, it's got Ned Beatty in it. Charles Dutton, Lily Taylor, Robert Prosky. I love all uh, you know those characters. I mean those uh, actors, but uh, yeah, I, I mean it's a good movie. But I don't, I just, I don't know for some reason I never got into it. So this is one of those movies that everybody loves, praises, kind of like the Karate Kid, man. I mean, I mean I liked it, but I never was that much into Karate Kid, so that's why I don't like Cobra Kai. Sorry. And last but not least, this is a movie I'm recommending to you guys. It isn't like tremendously great but it's a it's a good movie trust me two days in the valley this is a kino release i wish it had been 4k it's got look at that cast man danny aiello jeff daniels terry hatcher when she was in her hot um lois and clark days james spader eric stoltz marty mcfirst for marty mcfly himself did you guys know that charlie theron and she is fucking hot stuff in this movie. You actually get to see the goods. And I love it. It's got the... I flipped the artwork. It's got reversible cover art. That's the VHS and the DVD that I remember. I've been waiting for this on Blu-ray for so long. Like I said, it's not like one of the greatest movies ever. But I like the style. It's kind of like I always tell people. It's like a poor man's Quentin Tarantino type film. So it's got a lot of... Uh, it's a talkie as they say. So it's got a lot of talking in. The acting in it is superb, though. Great ensemble cast. I really like it. Finally, it's from a 4K scan, so I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do a 4K release of this eventually. It's got audio commentary. It's got Sylvester Stallone and John Herzfeld conversation, so I don't know why Sylvester Stallone, unless he was one of the um, producers on this or something. I don't know. Q&A session from back then. The making of and b-rolls and sound bites so i'm really looking forward to digging into this if you've seen two days in the valley this is i love kino man they're really taking over as far as releasing you know catalog titles um this is a paramount release originally so they've they have uh, licensed a lot of paramount stuff they released the longest yard which is excellent a lot of burt Reynolds stuff so yeah kino keep up the good work Love it, like it. So speaking of like, like my video, like any video you watch on the channel. You need to support me, please. I'm trying to grow this channel. I can only do it with great people like you. That's enough of the begging. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, I'm going to go watch this movie so I can see these two ladies here. But either way, until next time, boys and girls, this is JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter. I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. See ya.